now we will learn how we can set up the jenkins slaves for running the builds so in this example as you can see this particular test build it ran on the master so here you can see running as system and it is running on the jenkins master server so if we run all our builds directly on the jenkins master it will put the load on the jenkins master and there could be a possibility that sometimes your jenkins master itself get crashed because so many builds are running so it is not a best practice or it is not a recommendation at all to run your jenkins jobs directly on the master so what we do all the builds all the jobs we run it on the jenkins build agents so there are couple of options to create your build agents so you could have the ec2 instances and use those as a build agents or you could also have the fargate task so in this example we will be running or configuring the jenkins slaves on ecs fargate so that we don't need to manage any servers so what is the process for that so click on dashboard go to manage jenkins and also you can see that it is recommended building on the built in node can be a security issues so you should have the number of executors on that node your jenkins master node should be zero so if i click on this manage so right now if you run any of your jenkins job because we have set up the number of executors too so it would be it will be able to run it but as soon as i do it with zero and click on save and now if i try to run this particular job it will say that there is no uh, agents or there is nothing there where we can run this particular build so you can see waiting for next available executor because there is none which are available so we'll just cancel this job and now go to their dashboard click on manage jenkins and plugin so for that first you need to install the plugins so if i go to install plugins or if you search with the ecs you will see this particular plugin amazon elastic container service fargate plugin so you will install this this particular plugin and that does not need the restart of your jenkins instance i have already installed that as soon as you install this and if you go to your manage jenkins you will see the clouds option and if you click on this new cloud here you will see that particular type amazon ec2 container service cloud if you don't install that plugin you won't be able to see this so first you need to first you need to install that plugin and after that you will be creating a new cloud name so i have already created one cloud configuration to use it so this is just demo tf and click on configure and if you do this here you can see uh, that it has that you have to provide all the details you really don't need to provide any credentials or anything but here you need to provide your region where your cluster is running and as soon as you put this it will get you all the cluster in that particular region because it need those details so whenever it launches the fargate task it will launch inside this cluster and if you click on the advanced you can have the configuration we don't need as such any configuration in this right now and this is your public ip so if you are restarting your task your ip might change so ensure that you change this url we don't need this tunnel connection it may need we may need when you use the alb configuration so you can have all these configurations set it up here and then this is the label so we will just put wherever this is the label that we will be defining in our jobs to use this particular cloud configuration and the task definition override so here we have couple of options so you can actually manually go ahead and create a task definition or provide all the details manually here so what i have done i have created this particular task definition here you can see it's a simple slave jenkins and it's a fargate and you provide the cpu and memory so you can change it if your application needs more cpu and memory you can change the task definition and this is the simple im role which has all access and the container details so this is the image that we are using this is the default docker image that is used to create a slave or the jenkins agents and uh, 
that's the only configurations i have done there is no other volumes because this is all femoral agent so we don't need it and just click on create so what i have done i am just using that task definition if you don't do that you will have to remove this line and then you will provide all these details here launch type and then you might need to select this so you have to change all the configuration here so instead of that i prefer that i just create a task definition and here this is your aws network mode you select your file system root and this all configuration comes from the task definition and the subnet so uh, the fargate will be the fargate task will be created inside a subnet only so here you can provide a multiple subnets also or one based on your requirement if you need the high availability if you just have one subnets and you are running hundred of jobs it may cause a problem so based on that you can just have multiple subnets and the security group so the security group the permissions that you need specifically for this Jenkins agent you really don't need any inbound rules you just need the outbound rules and the outbound rules we have selected as a all traffic and the Jenkins uh, the Jenkins security group the master security group you just need to ensure that it has the inbound rules which is open for 50,000 and 80, 80 from everything so this is not secure but in this example as everything we are creating on the public subnet so it has to be from everywhere if it is a private subnet here you can just provide the VPC Cedar block instead of opening it for everyone so that's the major configuration because if this is not correct your Jenkins slave agents won't be able to communicate to the master agent so that's it and then assign public IP and in the advanced configuration so these all details we really don't need to provide it because everything comes from the task definition and that's it you just need to create a task you just need to click on the save so once this is done you will go to the test and click on configure and here you can see the restrict where this project can run so this is where you provide the label that we have put in while creating a con while configuring the cloud so that was the label we use is the test one and then we are just uh, have the repository configuration and that's it click on save and click on build now so you can see that when i am just doing this now it's waiting for next available executor and it's not it's not running on the jenkins master now it will be running on the fargate task so here you can see that it has created this and if you go to this your elastic container service and click on this Jenkins demo and click on task here you can see that uh, using this task definition the one of the task is getting launched and here you can see so now you can see that it is also connected and if I see here your job is running now so that is the benefit of uh, using the Fargate it is fast you don't need to manage any servers and uh, there is no dependencies or nothing like that uh, if you just run 12 jobs it will just launch 12 Fargate tasks so you don't need to really worry about any EC2 instance 